and this is problem 3.eoc.6. It's the first problem in the approximating square roots assignment from Math 321. And um, it says the accompanying frequency distribution represents the travel time to work for a random sample of 895 adults in a certain country. And we're looking to approximate the mean and standard deviation. So let me open the data first. And the idea is that um, when you gather data, obviously you have all the data, but a lot of times people will provide you with a summary of their data. And so you'll get a frequency distribution like the one that's on the screen. And we still would like to be able to estimate what the mean of this data is and what the standard deviation is. And to do that, um, we're gonna use the custom calculator that we used yesterday. Here's the theory behind this. There are 125 numbers that I have that start somewhere between zero and short of 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to assume that those are kind of evenly spread out and that the average of those 125 values would be five, halfway between zero and 10. The next 271 numbers, we're gonna pretend that their average is 15. Now, this assumption could lead to some mistakes. You know, all those numbers from zero to nine could be zeros or ones, or they could all be eights or nines. But on average, the mean should be close to the middle of each one of these classes. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, list the midpoints of each class. Those will be the values. And then the frequencies, those are going to be the weights. And so let me open it in StackCrunch and I'll show you how it goes. So um, the travel times are in the first column, the frequencies are in the second, and I'm just gonna put X above there three so I remember what that is. And what I'm looking for is the midpoint of the first class. Now it goes from zero to nine, but you really wanna take the average of zero and the next lower limit, which is 10. Halfway between zero and 10 is five. Halfway between 10 and 20 is 15. The next one is 25. And notice because the classes keep going up by 10, these midpoints will keep going up by 10 also. So I go all the way down until I get to 85. These are going to be the values in that calculator. The frequencies are going to be the weights. And when we build the calculator, it will tell us what the mean and standard deviation are. So again, what I've done is I've split the difference on each class and typed that midpoint in a new column. And again, I'm not using zero and nine. I'm finding the number halfway between those. I'm finding the number halfway between zero and 10, between 10 and 20, between 20 and 30 and so on. Always using the lower limits. Right. Uh, this is under stat calculators custom, like we did in section 6.1. The values are in that column I just typed, X. The weights are in frequency. And then I just click compute. And the mean and standard deviation are listed right on the graph. So um, both of these said to round them to one decimal place. The mean, I have 27.7. The standard deviation, I have 19.1. I don't need the line underneath it. I just needed those two. So I can go back to the problem and enter the mean, 27.7, and the standard deviation, 19.1. And that's how, that's how that problem is done. So the key again is coming up with one more column of the midpoints those are the values in that calculator and use the frequencies as the weights. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording.